Good afternoon, America. Hope everybody's having a blessed day. I'm trying to get through this uh, doggone impeachment crap, the preliminary stuff. They got Republican liar, Republican liar, Republican liar. I read the four and a half page phone call. I don't think any of the Democrats have taken five minutes to read the transcript from the phone call. Because if you listen to the Democrats talk about the conversation that the president had asking for foreign aid in the 2020 election because he was afraid Joe Boland Ball Biden was going to beat him, the one that's dirty in Ukraine, the one that's dirty in China and Portugal. Or there's another country, I don't know if it's Portugal or not. I need that laptop so bad. I can't keep things on my phone and refer back to them while I'm taping like you can open up windows on a laptop while you're broadcasting. Also, I can't go live on a cell phone uh, on YouTube until I get a thousand subscribers. So with a laptop, you can go live with no subscribers. This is why I need the laptop. Uh, I could also bring up their comments and show you the difference between how they're lying and how they're not telling the truth. And it's pretty much across the board as far as the Democrats go. They all say they hate impe impeaching Donald Trump. And they all lie through their teeth because they've been trying to do this for three years. They took their first vote on impeachment when Al Green brought it to the floor and they didn't even have a crime. So they were voting on impeaching him without so much as even any charges. Are you kidding me? And you call this a democratic society? Yeah, it's a democratic society, all right. But today, the Democrats are not what they used to be. Used to be the grand old party. It was the one to belong to. Now, today, if you hate God, if you hate blacks, you hate black babies because they like to kill a thousand of them a day through planned killing parenthood. Planned parenthood is, is a fiasco. It's an oxymoron. When you're killing the baby, there is no parents. So it's planned killing parenthood because they're killing parenthood they're, and babies. They're not making parenthood wonderful. They're talking people out of being parents. Virginia, New York, the baby can be full term, be born, give it birth and not give it a birth certificate, but go in and kill it if the mama don't want it. Okay. Now then. And they promote this because they only get $300,000 per cadaver of a baby for stem cell research. So you get three or four of them a week. Now you're making three, four million, five million dollars a month. And that's not chump change. So now these poor fetuses have a price on them. Three months, six months, nine months. The longer, the more money you get for the fetus. And now they're going in instead of ripping off the legs and the arms and smashing the skull and squeezing the brains out before they pull out the rest of the body. They're trying to bring it out whole torso and just kill it when it gets outside. That way they can sell everything. Man, these are some sick, sick, sick suckers. It is not okay. I haven't heard a thing on the news today but about nothing but about impeachment. What about the 18,000 babies we've killed this month? This month, 18,000 babies that will never get to see a sunrise. Are you kidding me? This is not okay. Not in any shape or form. It's not okay one day that the planned killing parenthood is open. Okay? And these guys ain't Chick-fil-A. They don't close on Sundays. They're open seven days a week. And you talk to some of the doctors. Some of these doctors that have been interviewed, they're proud that they've killed more babies than anyone else in their state. They just, they love it. One guy said it was his passion. I want to vomit when I hear that kind of crap, okay? And these are the same kind of people that's trying to take out a duly elected president, all right? When we went through this Mueller crap and they charged us $50 million, the taxpayers, for nothing for their impeachment process, and he come up with nothing, I thought that would be the end of it. But no, these guys are going to keep going. Now Al Green informed us that even though this isn't going to work, they're going to impeach him again and again and again. All right? 
Now, no one but the Democrats, we all know, is above the law. I want to know who and how we step in and stop the Democrats from abusing the power that they're abusing, okay? I get a kick out of these uh, these things I see on Facebook. Where'd all the millions come from that Barack Obama sent Iran? Well, Ukraine has whistleblowers, only they don't have Adam Schiff writing the rules for whistleblowers like we do here in America. You see, there's two whistleblowers. The first one was Adam Schiff, okay? There was no whistleblower. Adam Schiff was a whistleblower. That's why he had never talked to the whistleblower, but his, his team had, because he talked to them, see? Then they coached the second whistleblower, how to bring it forward. They helped him hire an attorney, okay? And this is the way Schiff does things. Schiff goes in private, like down in the skiff in the basement, where it's supposed to be classified information only discussed. There was no classified information. He, he, uh, he pounded the witnesses. He did witness tampering. And because it's in the skiff, nobody's got proof. Yeah. See, so he can get away with breaking the law. He knows he's doing it. That's why he took it to the skiff. See? He asked him leading questions. After he asked the question, leading them to the right answer he wanted, he would reiterate before they answered, and remember, you're under oath, and you could go to prison if you don't answer this right. That's witness tampering, okay? But because he did it down in the skiff, he can get away with it. He knows what he was doing. He ain't stupid. Well, he is stupid. He got caught. Uh, he's got two or three cases that have been sealed by George Soros for being a pedophile there. Only the last one they couldn't sue because he paid off the sexual harassments to the 16-year-old boy in his campaign funds. They're dirty. They use everybody's money like it was their own. They use taxpayers' money. They use campaign funds. It's like Nancy Pelosi. I don't know how long she's been there, 20, 25, maybe 30 years. And this whole time she thinks those are champagne funds, not campaign funds. So she's been drinking up champagne by the millions, okay? And don't tell me about how you're a Catholic and you don't hate anybody because you do hate Trump, all right? And Catholics don't lie. And I've got you on tape. I've posted it on Facebook a half a dozen times. And you guys keep Zucker Keys pulling it down. About It was a clip from C-SPAN where Nancy Pelosi was teaching the brand new freshman how to lie. How to gain ground on their opponent and gain ground on their issues. They lie to the media till the media reports it. Then people believe it and then it becomes fact. Same thing they're doing with this impeachment. They put up their own little narrative that they want to be true. And because they're dishonest, that's the most natural thing that comes to them is dishonesty. All right. People that don't trust, they can't be trusted. They don't trust because they think everybody's as big a criminal as they are. So they don't trust anybody. And the Democrats, they don't trust nobody. <laughs> Upholding the Constitution, that's called borders. And you're for open borders. So not one of you has tried to uphold the Constitution since I've been watching in the last three years. And I had no idea. Because when for eight years, I was dead to politics. I never once listened to one of Obama's speeches for more than a minute. Okay? Listening to Obama would make me want to vomit. All right? I disliked Obama about 10 times as much as they disliked Trump. Yeah, put that in there in your pipe and smoke it. But you know what I did? I prayed for him every day for seven years that he'd come to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Because he's a self-proclaimed Muslim on his autobiography, page 241. If it comes to war, I'll be with the Muslim brothers and not the Christians. He's a Muslim, all right? And his boyfriend, Michael Obama, in the White House with him. Yeah. I don't think she's a she. I think she's a he. I think it was Michael and not Michelle Obama. And there are films that are pretty revealing on YouTube. I didn't believe it until I saw it. And I'm like, what in the world? Just one of those things when you're not supposed to get heard or seen. And it was seen. And you can't unsee this, okay? Uh, like Pelosi and her lies. The whole Democratic Party lied. Now, there's one of two things happening here. 
Either they're so stupid they don't know that Shift is a liar or they're all that dishonest themselves. As dishonest as Shift, who is a pedophile. Did I mention that? Yeah, I don't like Shift, okay? It's bad enough you want to be a freak and be an abomination of God when you're gay. Yeah, that's what the Bible says. I don't like everything in there, but I got to live by it too, all right? We can't just pick and choose what we want out of the Bible to live by. A lot of people do, but that's not God's plan for us, all right? How these guys can just lie and lie and lie is so disgusting and vile. No wonder we got a swamp. Our FISA court is a swamp. That needs to be gone away. Just alleviate it, okay? The smith mandane Act has been struck down. We don't need a FISA court anymore, period, that can be used against American citizens like Obama did against Donald Trump when he was running for president. Obama started all this crap. He's as guilty as the day is long. And if we had the same presidential standards as Republicans, as the Democrats have for Trump, Obama would have had about 22 impeachable offenses. But yet we never brought articles of impeachment against that retard once, all right? Now, on those articles, you see, where'd all that money come from that he sent to Iran? Well, the whistleblower from Ukraine opened up my eyes yesterday. It's on YouTube. I posted it on my Facebook. But he talked about when money is being held up by Obama. You know, Obama did it every single time. They never once got a payment when agreed upon. Normally, it was $500 million, and that would get held up for three, four, five, six months. And then they'd say, oh, we've had some repositions to do. And he'd send him two hundred and fifty million instead of five hundred. Now Iran would get that other two hundred and fifty, so that's just where that two hundred and fifty came from. But if he did that like four or five times, which according to this whistleblower sounded like it was every time he Well, it's he was in there eight years, so that would have been eight times he did this. That would have been an, an extra two billion dollars that he sent over to Iran that he stole from Ukraine, okay? Problem solved. Where did he get the money? He stole it from your, uh, Ukraine. That was supposed to be their aid. But you don't hear nothing saying about that now. We jeopardized our national security by not giving Ukraine money. How stupid are you guys? Don't you remember when your sissy boy president let Putin put his ships, two battleships, over in Cuba for two weeks without saying a word? Because you didn't like Putin. Putin was racist, so you didn't want to talk to him. Screw America, we could all be dead, because you don't want to talk to Putin. Now Trump, Reagan, Kennedy, would have gave him about a half hour to get his shit out of our backyard, or we're going to take it out for him, where it sits, nuclear style. <coughs> Obama never said nothing. Two weeks, nothing. <coughs> Winter Olympics start. Battleships leave Cuba. Putin knows he's dealing with a sissy five punk. Punk ass Obama. Sorry, that's just the way Putin looked at him. Whistleblower said that too. So, here's the deal. Once Putin said he saw he could get away with parking two battleships in our backyard and not having Obama say a word, he knew he could attack Ukraine. And the battle began. And that's Obama's fault. Nobody's looking at that. And then, because he didn't want to get his tit in a ringer, he said, we're not going to give you any military aid. We're going to give you blankets. So when they come through with your tanks, you can put blankets on and you'll be safe. Not the way Pr President Trump looks at things. He said, I'm going to give you Patriot missiles so when the Russian tanks come, you can fry their ass where they sit. You can kill them before they get to you, or you can kill them right in front of you but you'll be killing them. You won't be wrapping yourself up in blankets. Yeah. And why they think Trump would have to ask for interference in the 2020 election is just mind-boggling. Do you really think America's that stupid, Democrats? Do you really think we're that dumb? You think everybody that voted for Trump is a deplorable, okay? I don't know anybody that voted for Trump that lies half as much as the Democrats do. So what's that say? 
I'd rather have a bunch of deplorables that don't lie than to deal with a bunch of liars that you never know whether they're telling the truth or not. And normally they're not because in like Schiff's case, he's never told the truth. That's why he won't go under oath. He's told so many lies he knows he'll go to jail. He can't remember all the lies he's told. Sajetti's a pedophile. Did I mention he's a pedophile? Yeah, I don't like him. You can do all your funny gay LBGTQ bull loney at home in the closet. Keep it there. But when you start bringing it into the kids and you start putting it out in public, that's when it gets on my nerves. Like your transgender, transsexual, transvestite, whatever trans they are that dresses up in women's lingerie and goes in to read nursery rhymes to children in school. How freaking twisted sick is this? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? If I walked in to a classroom and I had a grandson or a granddaughter in that room and there was kids rolling around and playing with this guy on the floor, haha, <laughs> he's leaving a different way he came in. If he don't go through a window, he's going through an ambulance. But that's the only way he's going to get out of there. Because it's not okay, and I don't care what kind of liberal, flaming idiot invited him in there to be around my children. It ain't happening. Not on this old boy's watch. So you can take all... The, I said this at the beginning of my tapes. I said I'm probably going to step on a few toes. Okay? But the Bible is what the Bible is. And we don't just take parts of it that are easy to follow and follow that. Call her good, like Nancy Pelosi. She's the best Catholic you'll ever see, but Catholics don't believe in abortion, and she's leading the charge for abortion. So she's a hypocrite liar. Right to your face. I pray for the president. God don't hear your prayers until you pray for forgiveness of all the thousands of babies that you've killed. You've killed thousands of babies. And you want to extract a president over a phone call who loves babies. You're dealing with Republicans. We believe all babies are precious gifts from God not to be thrown in a garbage can or sold for stem cell research. You stinking idiots. I'm tired of it, you know. I, I can give them the truth and love for just so long. And then when you hear them that they're not hearing you and that they don't care and that they're going to lie no matter what to get their own propaganda across, makes me sick to my stomach. I almost wish I wasn't doing this anymore, but I enjoy it so much I have to. I got to get the truth out. We got to get him back in one more term so we can get the Supreme Court squared away. Abolish same-sex marriages. Get away from Sodom and Gomorrah because he dealt with it then and he'll deal with it again. God is not dead. He's surely alive. And if you don't know that, you haven't looked at the election outcome. We found here in Detroit over 65,000 dead people registered to vote. That's just in Detroit. There's 20 cities across the country that size. Okay? So that's basically 10 million that... Uh, are unaccounted for. I'm getting a lot of messages here. Uh, folks, I'm going to wrap this up. I'll do a, a wrap-up tonight, later, uh, after the vote, so we can see. We already know which way it's going to go, but I will leave you with this. Little-known fact. Most people don't know this. I don't know why Primetime or Fox or none of the medias have picked this up. So you heard it here first. On Decision Making 2020 basically breaks down to at the polls we're going to either vote for God or Satan for capitalism or for communism okay do you want to work where they tell you to work or do you want your own job this isn't like the medical thing where you get to keep your own job you get to keep your own doctor no communists socialists they tell you where to go work where they need you and that's when you got a king that's when you got a ruler socialist and communist but they don't want to tell that to the kids. They just want to spill half their poison and let their poison kill what it will. Well, this old boy remembers communism and socialism. We go back. We go back to Kennedy and the Cuba crisis. We're not dumb. We've watched how the Democrats have went from a decent party into a decadent, sin-filled, lying, thieving, stealing, cheating group. And they need to be banned. We need to fall out come November and take them out of the Congress. 
wipe out the few seats they got left in the Senate and put this country back one nation under God. And forget these screaming liberals and forget Jerry Nadler that says that the LBGT rights come above the church rights. They've reached out to all secular families, non-church going. They don't want church goers in their party. They don't want honest people. They want dishonest secular people. That's who they're that's who they draw to. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up, but I could I had to take a break. You know, you get in two or three hours of this crap. Liar, Republican, liar, Republican, liar. I read the report. It's four and a half pages. You go back to Mueller's though, that was four hundred pages with eight pages redacted. Out of four hundred. And they screamed about that. We wanna know what they're hiding. So they made the eight pages that redacted available to all members of Congress and Senate down the hall. You couldn't take pictures of it. You couldn't take it with you. You couldn't make notes. But you could read it for yourself. Not one Democrat went down the hall to look at those eight pages. Not one Democrat has read the phone report. Unless they're flaming liars. I read the phone report. None of what they're saying is in there. If what they were saying was in there, it'd be 68, 70 pages. Not four and a half. It was a simple, perfect phone call. He asked about past. Past crimes. Now the Democrats say he's trying to say that there was no Russian interference with our election. And that the Ukrainians were the ones that interfered. That's not what President Trump's saying at all. President Trump's saying, I know China interfered. I know Russia interfered. I know Ukraine interfered. I just want to know how bad Hillary was in bed with them. Oh, come to find out, their last president was working with Hillary Clinton and the DNC. This is why they want to bring this thing down and, and put him in jail. He has busted them with their hands in the cookie jar. They're dirty. They're guilty. Obama was dirty. Obama was guilty. He started this mess out by stealing from them half of their legal aid, their military aid. Every time they would get granted military aid by Congress, Obama would steal half of it and send it over to his terrorist family, Iran, his buddies, his Muslim buddies. It's a Muslim takeover in this country. We've already had one in the White House. We got him in the Senate and the Congress now. They're hate mongers that hate Jews. They're anti-Semitic. Are you kidding me? They got to be sworn in with a Koran? I wished I was there. I'd put five pounds of bacon in my hand. Then I'd lay the Koran on it. Then I'd put another five pounds of bacon and say, put your hand on this. This is one nation under God. Not any nation under Allah. Okay. What's the Koran doing in the House of the Senate or the House of Congress? That's an abomination to me. I stand with our president. I am against this bogus, fake, lying impeachment. It's only the second time in our country's history it's ever happened. You could talk to Abraham Lincoln about the first illegal impeachment. Him and John Wilkes Booth. Yeah, Wilkes Booth didn't like him freeing the slaves. Booth was a Democrat. He shot and killed the white guy that freed the slaves because he was an asshole. Anybody that does anything for the blacks is an asshole. That's why they hate Trump. Trump's done more for the blacks in this country than any other president before him, including Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, let that sink in. Yep, so he's getting the pushback just like Abraham Lincoln did. But he likes the pushback. And they don't know it, but they got into it with a fighter. They think they're tough. They ain't seen tough. Well, yeah, they have. They've seen bill after bill after bill get pushed. They've seen a president go across the border and get more help from Mexico with our border crisis than what he got from the Democrats. When we went over and killed Abdul Halula, whatever his name was, and we cut the head of the snake off, perfect plan. We'll pull our people out. It wasn't five days after we pulled our forces back. This guy raised his head and we went in and killed him. We went in and killed him. We had six Apaches 
fly right over Russian positions. With troops ready for battle, Trump calls Putin and says, Stand down. I got something I got to do. You'll be glad I did it. Can't tell you what it is. Talk to you soon. Bye for now. Boom. The helicopters went over. He can get more cooperation from the Russians, from the Chinese, than he can, and the Mexicans, than he can the Democrats. Why? Because George Soros is running the Democrat Party. And he swore he was going to take Trump down. This is all George Soros. So, we're going to wrap this up. Uh, we're going to get back to the hearings. And when they get done with their vote, I'm sure it's going to be all lies. We'll report on it later. You have a blessed day. Don't forget to pray for our president. Like, share, and subscribe. And if you get a chance, check out my... Uh, I've got a page set up. I'm trying to put together a decent program for you guys where I can pull up news and give you my resources and play clips and play music and everything else. But I need a laptop, so i got a GoFundMe page set up for that. Last week, to keep you guys up to snuff, just so you know, I had 51 hours on YouTube. Yeah, I'm averaging over 8 hours a day. You have a job, I'm disabled. I will listen to this. I will condense it. I will do the best I can to give you my take on it. I want to do the most up-to-date news with no fake news, and I use several sources. That's why it's nice laptop. You can pull it up and tell people what source you're coming from. I'm going to go ahead and land a plane on this thing. You guys have a blessed day. Don't forget to pray for our president. And my truck just died yesterday, so if you could throw a prayer up for me, I'd appreciate that too. God bless America, our president, and everyone that voted for him and is going to this next time. See you soon. Bye for now.